Hey guys, what's up? This is my second tutorial on this channel, and uh, I'm gonna keep doing these. By the way, that's besides the point. I'm gonna go really fast, and this is Optic Jamie's color correction tutorial. It's actually a lot easier than you might think. So first off, you just want to drag your equipment, right-click on properties, click maintain aspect ratio, and disable reset, and click OK. You're good. And after that, you're to notice up in your preview thing here that you're going to have these two black lines right here and right here. So to fix that you just click event pan crop. Just drag this in from the top right so you can't see those two black lines. Like so. Can't see. So after that you're going to go to video, your video effects tile. And I have presets for all these. So I'm going to be going quick. You just have to pause the video when you need to, and you'll see. And, uh, yeah, to get the hang of it, you're going to need to pause the video so I can show you, like, what you're going to be doing. So click brightness contrast and drag in reset to 9. Put the contrast to 0.20. And then go down to color curves. Drag in reset to 9. I'll drag in my preset. Like I said, I have presets for all these. So, <clears throat> right here, you're it's pretty easy. You're just going to drag the top one to, you know, I'll do it like this. I'll put reset to none and show you. You're going to drag this one to like right there. You're going to drag this one to like right there. And it's about the same. I'll show you the difference between this and the preset, there's really not that much difference. See, it's exactly the same. And <clears throat> next, drag in saturation adjust. It's like the whole way to the bottom of your effects style. Drag in reset the none. And copy all these down. You're probably going to want to pause the video right here. Just put them out to 1.0. Center to 0.25, spread to 0.5, low to negative 0.75, and high to 1. And then that's it for that. Drag sharpen in your clip. If it'll load up. And then you can X out because it already sharpens. As you can see here. And if you want to do this, you can. This is all done here. But if you want, you can drag in Unsharp Mask. It looks pretty nice on this type of color correction. It brings this out a lot. And uh, that's all for this tutorial. Uh, message me, leave a comment on the next video you want me to do, or the next tutorial you want me to do. And uh, yeah, I'll put the clip at the end of this. And shout out to M48-3-Wags for letting me use this clip. And uh, thanks guys. See ya.